La melodía, tu cuerpo en la playa de Cancún. Dámelo, dámelo, la melodía. Nos enamoramos en el agua azul. En Majacos, boom, boom, boom. YouTube. This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my first reaction, we're going to go over to Romania. And as you know, I have just started dipping my toe into Romanian artists. I am an avid fan of um, Carpathian. They are absolutely amazing. And more enough members to check out individually. Um, they do from DMB. It's based on sort of like Raga. Um, but they do a lot of DMB and everything that's assembled to Raga around it. And they have amazing concerts as well. So please check out my Romanian um, artists on my channel. Um, now, this particular artist, I've never reacted to him before. Um, it's WRS. And I believe his name is um, Andre, um, is it um, Yusul? Um, oh, it's, uh, it's U-R-S-U. So I'm talking, is it, um, uh, I don't know, Yosu. Is that how you pronounce it, Yosu? Now, in his, there's nothing in his description page, but if you go to his about page, there's a short biography about this particular person, which I'm going to read out to you right now. So it's got Andrea um, Yosu, aka WRS, is a multidisciplinary artist with a unique version. Before starting his career as a vocalist, he worked as a backup dancer in a television and for other artists, taking after his parents, who are both folk dancers. Um, in 2015, he became a part of a boy band called Shots and kickstarting his musical career. Um, two years later, he leaves the project and moves to London where he perfects um, his songwriting skills. Um, in January 2020, he signs for a record deal with Global Records and starts his electric pop music projects. Um, alongside his music, WRS also designs his own music videos and artwork, giving listeners a glimpse into his dreamy inner world. So that's a little bit about him. Um, also, um, da, 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 yeah, so, I mean, he's got his email address here. Uh, I don't know if this is... is uh, let me just double check if it's personal email address. Da, 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 da. It's his personal email, email address, but linked to Global Records. So I'm going to send him an email address, um, an email, um, just to let him know. Look, uh, I'm going to be reacting to his um, his music. So there you go, highlight there. Um, so I'm going to do that straight after I reacted to to this particular thing. And um, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Also, like. I said I'm just starting dipping my toe into Romanian music so if you indeed know of a brilliant Romanian artist or an unsigned artist that you would like me to react to then by all means leave a comment under this particular track and I'll be more than happy to start and do my due diligence and investigate who these particular artists are now Without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? La melodía, tu cuerpo en la playa de Cancún. Dámelo, dámelo, la melodía. Nos enamoramos en el agua azul. La melodía. Boom, boom, boom. The Tawai is big over there. But well, it should come over here as well. When I like that suit. It should be in purple. Uh, uh. Drip, drip, you're on my mind Bring it down now, right? Uh, uh. Drip, drip. 
WRS with La Melada, or La, it's La Melody, isn't it? Um, very, very catchy. I love the fusions with the native instruments with a lovely up-tempo kind of, um, he said it's electro, but I see that as a dance music kind of thing. So he calls it da electro dance. It's dance music. It worked with any kind of club in any kind of country because it's got that funky beat. Um, it's got the authenticity of the uh, native instruments in there. So it gives you the feel of whereabouts is coming from, but also this kind of kick of like, it can transcend over to many different countries anyway. So it shouldn't be just be pigeonholed in Romania. I hope this particular track transcends to other countries as well, because it certainly can. It, there's no reason why it shouldn't. So Global Records, transcend this, yeah? I hope it's put, I don't know if it's on TikTok or whatever, but get this out there. Um, I mean, look, get this out there. It's got a stupid amount of millions. It's just me that haven't heard the song before. Um, but I'm sure there's loads of people out there that haven't heard the song. I love the colours. I love the vibrantness of it. I love the dancers. They're brilliant. One small little thing. Like, I'll, I'll wear um, WRA under his um, outfit. It looks bad ass. I'll wear that in purple. I even wear the white top, what the guy's wearing. But the my guy that was with the white um, uh, do-rag over his head and he had the black thing. Nah, man. Leave that for the footballers. Yeah, the top bit, yeah. But he had the string thing there. It's like, man, what's that about? Come on. Do you know what I mean? That's not masculine, yeah? And I'm talking about masculine. You was there dancing as a masculine, yeah? Um, a, a person with masculinity. So you've got your muscles and all that business. You've got your dance roots and all that business. Then you're wearing something that's not really masculine. That's really, that was more on the feminine side rather than the masculine. I'm not saying that it's, you know, it's wrong to wear that and all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it just didn't fit the dance. It didn't fit the, the, um, the video. That's what I'm saying. It did not fit the video. It just threw me apart. It's like, whoa. You know, if he's going to do that, then the other guy should have wore it as well. Then they would have had the matching pair. Then it would have worked. But what the other guy had on, the white top, boom, that worked with the video. It worked with everybody, what everybody else was wearing kind of thing. But that guy out there, uh, and because it's Andre's um, um, video, he's, I presume that he's the one who told you to put it on. <laughs> like I said, he he produces his own videos and everything else, so he knows what he likes on there. Um, I don't know because uh, and another thing, it was black. Everybody else was wearing all different kind of vibrant colours. You could have made that into a different kind of colour. I don't know whatever colour, but I thought that black kind of pushed. Uh, it's easy to wear black and white, you know. And where you had the girls dance with, with some vibrant, lovely colours and brilliant designs, the men should have followed suit in that. And that's only visuals because I have no problem whatsoever with the vocals or the music at all. You know, it is a badass track. It will do well in any club. There's not be, there will be not one person 
who will not be dancing to this particular track because it has the formula, it has the DNA, it has the schematics for you to dance and shake your ass on this track. So now, just like I said, it just leaves the visuals. Everything worked in the visuals, but it was my guy that was putting me off with the white do-rag and that black outfit. He was putting me off, but I did enjoy the music thoroughly. And for that reason, I salute you. I can't wait to look at some more of his stuff. I Oh